Hey guys, this is Matt for Creative, and today we're trying some more pumpkin spice stuff. This is Trader Joe's Overnight Oats Pumpkin Flavor Rolled Oats with Pumpkin Puree and Spices. Now, it's been a long time since I've had overnight oats. I've had oatmeal, I've had other yogurts, I've had other things like this, but overnight oats, it was kind of a big thing a few years ago, but now it's kind of different. Um, I gotta say, that does not look delectable, but we're gonna give this a try here. Um, let me see. It smells like autumn spice. Now, I tried other products with pumpkin. Um, if you remember the Lafemarie or whatever it's called, that tasted like pumpkin pie. That was, oh, that's my cat's food thing, by the way, sorry. But that actually tasted like pumpkin spice, or sorry, pumpkin pie, where a lot of these pumpkin spice things, they kind of taste like the idea of fall. And this one kind of smells almost fall spice. But we're gonna take a nice bite here. Okay. Now, I think it really is when the product says pumpkin puree, that is when it will taste like pumpkin pie. And I would just have to say this is a less sweeter version of your traditional pumpkin pie. Let's take a look here. Where is our information? Uh, pause this if you want to take a look at the information here. Ingredients, water, pumpkin puree. Oh, okay. Dates, rolled oats, almond butter, cinnamon. There's that spice sea salt and nutmeg. You know what, that, that combination is something that I definitely taste. Mm-hmm. It's not an overly sugary thing, and actually, let's see, is it an over sugary, overly sugary product? 12 grams. It's not very low, but it's not in the 20s. I would say as long as you can keep it in the teens, it kind of works out for you. This isn't bad. I'm enjoying this. I, I think it's like something that you could really start your morning with if you want to kind of contain it to oats. I would say this is a good choice. Anyway, guys, if you have any comments or questions, put it in the comment section below. Don't forget, I'm on Instagram and threads at m8b9. You can email me at creativenyc2024 at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.